Murdoch is the strongest engine on the island of Sodor. His ten drive wheels help him pull heavy goods trains along the main line. Despite his large stature, he is a very shy and gentle engine. One day, James and Murdoch were waiting to start work when Percy ran into the yard looking very frightened. Help! he wailed. Monster! Slow down, Percy! called Murdoch. Percy skidded to a stop, his axles quivering with fear. What was all that about? asked Murdoch. There's a monster heading this way! quivered Percy. What nonsense! scoffed James. There's no such thing as monsters. I did see a monster, Percy pleaded. At least I thought I did. What did it look like? asked Murdoch. It was huge, dark, and shook the ground, Percy began. It sounded like an engine, but it was unlike any engine I've ever seen before, and it had a haunting whistle. Percy was interrupted by an unfamiliar whistle in the distance. Just like that, Percy squeaked. James and Murdoch gasped as a mammoth engine drew into Napford Station. It was huge, dark, and it shook the ground as he made his way to the platform. The three engines could only stare at the strange visitor. He must be here for a rail tour. James whispered, hoping that the engine wouldn't hear him. Someone should say hello, suggested Percy quietly. Murdoch gulped. I suppose I should, he whispered, and moved forward towards the large engine. He felt very nervous. H hello, he spoke softly. I'm Murdoch. Who... Who are you? The engine suddenly let off a large cloud of steam. Murdoch, Percy, and James jumped in surprise. He is a monster! I knew it! Percy shrieked. Let's get out of here! <laughs> the three engines did so quickly as they could. Later that day, Murdoch was telling Edward about the monster engine. And he didn't even say anything when I spoke to him, he finished. After all that, I don't know what to think. Edward frowned. Well, I think you three have been very rude to this engine. Murdoch was confused. What do you mean? he asked. Consider this, Edward explained. This engine's come for a rail tour, and the Fat Controller wants us to make each visitor feel welcome. Well, calling someone a monster and running away from them isn't very welcoming, at the very least. You did attempt to greet him. Murdoch now felt sorry for the engine. I suppose I should try again, he said. That would be a good idea, Edward smiled. Murdoch soon made his way back to Napkin. He could see the huge engine sitting alone in a siding. He began to feel nervous again. I must make him feel welcome, he huffed to himself. So he plucked up courage and made his way to the visitor. Hello, said Murdoch, his voice quiet but friendly. I'm Murdoch. Who are you? Well, it certainly ain't monster, the engine boomed. Even his voice seemed to make the ground tremble. I'm sorry about earlier, Murdoch continued. We've just, well, never seen an engine like you before. I reckon y'all haven't, the engine replied, sounding a little happier. Where I'm from, folks call me Big Boy. 
I imagine you pull good strings back home. Yep. I imagine y'all do the same. You're pretty sizable yourself, Murdoch. That's right. And tell me, what was the longest train you've ever pulled? Soon, the two engines were chatting about goods trains like old friends. Just then, Percy arrived with some trucks. But when he saw Big Boy at the platform, he slid to a stop. It's the monster! He peeped. Wait, Percy, called Murdoch. This is no monster. His name is Big Boy, and he's an engine just like you. Percy cautiously plucked up courage. Hello? He murmured. Howdy, Big Boy said warmly. Sorry if I startled you earlier. Didn't intend to, you see. That's all right, said Percy, feeling a little better. I'm sorry I called you a monster. If only James were here, said Murdoch. Then we could get this all resolved. As if by chance, James came up. Murdoch, cried James. Have you told that monster to go away? Shush, James, Murdoch fumed. He's no monster at all. His name is Big Boy, and he's an engine just like you. Nonsense, James scoffed, and looked at Big Boy. Now listen here, monster, he commanded. Let me tell you. If I hear you call me that again, Big Boy boomed. I'll grind your frames to make my bread. Oh no! James shrieked and backed away. Only kidding, Big Boy chuckled. Everyone had a good laugh, while James huffed in anger. <laughs>